Hi, I'm going to show you how to take a quiz on D2L. So what you're going to do to start is go to assessments and go to quizzes. And when it loads, you will be able to find the quiz by title and due date. And for the sake of this uh, instructional video, I'm just going to show you a optional one. So I'm going to click on the title here. And if there's any directions, it will provide them at the top. So here, this is an optional practice quiz. It is not worth any points. You do not have to complete it, right? OK. Uh, it also will tell you if there is a time limit. So since this is a you know, voluntary, not required quiz, it's unlimited. Otherwise, I usually have a, a time limit of a half an hour or sometimes an hour on a quiz. So it's good to know what that is before you actually get started. It will also tell you how many attempts are allowed. And again, because this one is optional, it's unlimited, but usually it will be just one. And if you're good with all that and you're ready to take the quiz in one sitting, you can hit Start Quiz. and it will load with the actual quizzes in the middle and then you can navigate the questions uh, on the side here left hand side and it lets you jump around so I'm just gonna say yep oh, this is a this is E this is C mm -hmm. yep okay just randomly picking them obviously don't do this on a quiz that you're really trying to take all right and you can see when i've selected an answer it goes from a dash meaning nothing to a check mark meaning it's been answered so if you don't answer a question the quiz will try to tell you you know on the left hand side here you haven't completed it uh, at the bottom it'll say if you only have nine out of ten completed uh, but when you're ready, when you've answered them all, and you should always try to answer them, you know, even if you're guessing, right, you would hit Submit Quiz. And at this point, if you did not have any answered, if you had some blank, it would say, hey, you only have 9 out of 10. Uh, do you want to go back and answer this one? And I, again, recommend that you do. But this says, you know, yep, you've got a, an answer for each question. So I'm going to say Submit Quiz and then I'm done and what it will show you is the question and answer and if you got the answer correct it'll give you a little check mark which can be confusing I know but that that means you got it correct <laughs> and if you got it incorrect it'll give you a little red X and then it'll point to the correct answer and on some of the quizzes I will have explanation as to why um, it depends on the complexity of the questions what's going on um, if there is feedback available you can view it and say oh if you picked this one that's incorrect because blah 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 and then you can review all of the questions when you're done click done oh randomly I got two out of ten without even trying I guess that's not horrible and you can go back to the quiz list and you can see now that I have taken this one time out of my unlimited number of attempts. And if I want to go back later, like let's say next week, four weeks from now, to study for another exam, whatever, I can go back and look at my question and answers by clicking on this little arrow here, going to submissions, going to attempt number one, and it will pull up again all the questions, my answers, and if they were correct or incorrect.